My guest today is for School District Trustee Roxanne Martinez. Uh, Ms. Martinez was recently elected to represent uh, District 9, so tell us about yourself. Yeah, well, um, you know, I'm a lifelong resident of Fort Worth. I'm deeply rooted in the community. I'm a mom of two in the district, a mm -hmm. wife, a nonprofit leader, a, a business owner as well. Mm -hmm. I run a marketing agency here in Fort Worth. Um, also have been involved in the community for over a decade and um, threw my hat in this mm -hmm. year uh, because my community and some of the students that I've been serving asked me to run. Okay. And you went to this elementary school? I did. I, I'm a product of Fort Worth ISD. Yeah. I, I grew up attending all Fort Worth ISD schools from this one, MH Moore Elementary, mm -hmm. to Meacham Middle School, and I'm a graduate of Diamond Hill Jarvis High School. So people are wondering about um, academic outcomes. What is the school board doing to improve students' um, outcomes? Well, you know, one of the reasons that I ran is because I really wanted to positively impact student achievement. And I know that the board has been intensely focused mm -hmm. on student outcomes over the last several years. Um, I've seen that through the, the board governance that they've adopted. but. You know, as a product of Fort Worth ISD, as a mom of two children in the district, and really as a community member that's involved with youth, mm -hmm. hundreds and thousands of youth, you know, over the last decade, student outcomes and achievement is the top number one priority. Some of the things that the district has done to focus on student outcomes over the last few years is, well, one, adopt a racial equity resolution and establish committees. Um, you know, one of the things that I heard a lot over and over throughout my campaign was that everyone wants to see students achieve. Everyone wants to improve student achievement. Yeah. Um, and you know, whether, however you feel about the racial equity committee mm -hmm. and resolution, that is one of the ways that the district is doing so. The racial equity resolution and committees were designed to um, eliminate the, the barriers and the um, systems and, and policies that are hindering student success, that are perpetuating racism in our in our schools and in our community. And for those that really want to see students achieve, um, I think they have to look at how racial equity plays into our school district, into our systems and our policies. Um, you know, the committees look at everything from uh, discipline practices to suspensions mm -hmm. to even communication efforts and methods. Um, you know, those are different ways. Um, of course, coming out of COVID, we've recently seen the STAR test results, and it was not anything that we didn't expect. You know, our students and our educators were attending school during a pandemic, yeah. and uh, you can just imagine how difficult it must have been to learn during that time, um, with so many challenges going on around in, in the world. But we are going to be laser focused yeah. on student outcomes. Okay. We touched on something that is called the, the COVID slide. Um, how long will it take to, for us to catch up if that's even the right way to think about it? Yeah, you know, um, it's interesting because I know a lot of people have been really concerned about the COVID slide. Um, you know, as I was reviewing the data, you know, I, COVID has, was a real emergency, but we had students who were struggling mm -hmm. well before okay. COVID. Okay. And, and in my opinion, we've been in an emergency situation. We, we really need to focus on those students who need the most help and the most resources to mm -hmm. succeed. And um, you know what we some of the things that we've learned through COVID, um, we've been able to look at other natural disasters to see kind of uh, what were some things that were effective in, for example, students who uh, were affected by Hurricane Katrina. And we know that it could take years for them to recover the learning loss. Yeah. But we bought, we had we didn't wait until we got the results that just came out. Okay. Um, Fort Worth ISD has been doing things to connect with students, um, making house visits. Of course, we just. Um, recently announced you know the mm -hmm. summer launch and we've got triple the number of students that are doing summer enrichment mm -hmm. classes um, okay. than in the past couple of years I mean we we are focused on getting those students back on track okay. and I think that the enrollment in the summer program uh, speaks volumes that parents are also on board okay. you know one of the things that's important is getting that parent and community buy-in when we have triple the number of students enrolled in the summer launch program that tells mm -hmm. me that parents equally want their students back on track. Okay. So there are a lot of people from the school board down to the teachers and the administration who really want these kids to succeed. Uh, we appreciate the work you've done. Congratulations on your uh, recent elect electoral win and thanks for talking to the Fourth Weekly. Yeah, thank you so much. It's been fun. Yes.